I believe they said, uh, rumor was that it was because they, he wanted the team to play around him. But in this case, you know, with Boom ID, they have found the perfect back. balance so far, right? Like, they, they have team back. all these three cores are able to play around each other, which is Dire very rare. Team right okay. now in the C region, of course. I got results here for Boom ID. They are currently 2 1. They beat Alpha Red. Entity Gaming, but they lost to Battle Arena Elites. Radiant okay, team so back. far. So, kind of hard to say. It, it is. It's hard to say right now. Bo ones really anything can happen. You know, that's where back. you need to have that. You have you have to be on point with the drafts. I can't remember who was it who said. Oh, yeah, it was Dendi himself who also said right. Right now, the draft is basically seventy percent of the battle won. It's more Radiant than that. I mean, back then pick. people were saying it's fifty percent of the battle won. So. Big things, but okay. I mean, no surprise. Io ban, like it ban. They ran out Beastmaster, Wind Ranger, and Warlock immediately. TNC wow. Tigers picking up the Cat Lady first. I o I almost want to say Sagan is a Tiger, but I don't know because Sagan doesn't have stripes. It's a lion. <coughs> lioness. It can't be a lion. There's no there's no mane. Jaguar. Unless it's a lioness. Puma. Yeah. Mountain lioness. Lion. Mountain Most lion. Lioness. Ten seconds remaining. <laughs> I, I love how you're just like Puma. <laughs> <laughs> Puma. Five seconds remaining. What? Uh, white Panther? No, there's no, white panther. there's no such thing albino, as a white panther. Albino Panther? I'm pretty sure it's just a white lion. I like to have imagination. Albino. I am PMA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spelling random the PMA stuff. Wars. <laughs> uh. Right, but yeah, Marana safely, and you know, that's something which. We haven't seen too often, even though a lot of teams were starting to try it out a lot, going into the open qualifier as well. Dire team pick. Yeah, I had a little bit of a, uh, information Siren. that I believe Ayu as well as Chen is like thus far the high most of the, most of the time, right? Their opponents will always ban Ayu and Chen, and it's the same thing here. Boom ID, they've done their homework. I think you kind of need to do homework for TI qualifiers. <laughs> if you want to make it through, you got to do everything when in your power. to do your homework, Ten right? Seconds no, I mean, like, each and every time they go up against an enemy, it's always, like, first material band, Five IO seconds Chen, remaining. without a doubt. I really do want to see someone at least bring out the IO, you know? I want to see someone play it. I guess who doesn't, right? You just oh, don't see the hero at all. You want to see down. the X, the X tether. I just want to see it once, okay? Just give me an opportunity once in Southeast Asia, <laughs> okay? No other region counts. I just want to see it and see, because I like watching C, there, okay? Oh, it's like watching a chemistry a chemistry experiment gone wrong. Visage. Ooh. All right, so this should be... Visage. They can, they, it's definitely a core visage. It's not a support. That, that, that meta is out. For a long time and just in case you guys are not sure who is Fervian, Fervian is Dream of Cell. So the clock four comes out. It's possible that they could, they might even decide to think about the Tinker. It's it's not it's not out of the question just yet. You know, clock or maybe even an SF. There's a lot there are a lot of options available right now just from the first two picks. Mirana clock. They could do a Bane as well for that five. No, it's possible that Boom might actually take a visage for themselves because Radiant I believe um, I was doing a little bit of. Um, Homework myself. Boom, I, um, TNC Tigers, I believe, in your dream, played a lot of Visage games. Mm -hmm. And it was paired up with the Drow Ranger. So, yeah, there could be a possibility if there. If I'm not mistaken, I think... I wasn't sure if it was the TNC game. I remember one of the games that we were casting today anyway. There was a Visage ban. I think it was against TNC Tigers. Ten seconds remaining. Because Visage is... is Incredibly Five tanky, and remaining. with the draw aura, you know, obviously your visage familiars are going to be super painful. And it's what that one hero which often you think, oh, it's going to be an easy kill. Probably because you, the mentality is like from muscle memory and all that, you're thinking, oh, support, easy kill. And the mm -hmm. next thing you know, as a core, you have all these items like pipe. It's that one of those cores, as, usually as a one or two, you don't see those heroes going for pipe. And that's one of those heroes which you can actually bring utility to the table for your draft composition, which is good. Are you assuming that we're going to be seeing a Drow with this Visage? Probably not, but remaining. it might be also a way to bait out the ban. And it feels like, you know, TNC Tigers, if you Five can play that draft, remaining. you know how to play against it. So Boom ID, I feel like they will come up with something else. I mean, Fnatic as well, they used to play, like, Visage for Abed. Mm -hmm. And they played other heroes as well. You don't always need to have the Drow to pair with the Visage. Alright, so second phase ban, what's coming out here? Uh, it seems like it's carry bans here for Boom ID. Just a bit worried for TNC Tigers to pick up one of their core carries. 
I mean, it's not too late if they still want to try with the Drow, so the Boom ID might even think about banning that out as well. You know, Drow Marana is still pretty decent. Well, lots of right click. You this mean Drow for TNT Tigers? Yeah, for TNT Tigers. Like, that's why I say Boom ID might think about banning that out. But mm. right now, they have, to do, they have to consider what they're more afraid of. <coughs> and that's why I suggested, like, maybe you take out the Tinker, because at the moment, they don't have heroes to deal with it. Even though it's only the first phase done. Dire team pick. But they take out Omni Knight. Radiant then. team pick. Oh, very fast pick here for Boom Shrek. ID. Picking Lashrak. up the Lashrak. Okay. Lashrak safe lane? Lash support. Any, any ideas? Position five. Support. Dire team support. Pick. support. Silencer. Oh, I can say it's a favorite of Cost 1437 is <coughs> Silencer. He's played, I think, three times over the qualifier so far. They are the only team to play Silencer yeah. at the moment, right? Yeah. In, in this qualifier. Wait, so wait, wait. Fnatic played Silencer. They did? One game. Yes, one game. One game. Ah, they lost to TNT Tigers, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I oh, 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 rubbing oh. it in. Alright. <laughs> right. There we go. <laughs> right. Someone Five bring us a bucket of remaining. ice. I think someone burnt themselves over here. <laughs> <laughs> mm, Alright, so how do they want to go with this? Do they still want to get? I feel like they need a more reliable stun, something which is easy to execute. Like Lashrak mm -hmm. isn't exactly known for having the most reliable of stuns. But let's ask like Baby Yelling and Isaka. What do what do you guys think so far? Like any heroes you like to see in particular with this draft? Actually, with the Naga setting out with the net first, it's not that hard to land the Lashrak stun. Radiant point, team point. pick. Yeah, all, all the familiar stuns. Oh, 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 okay, wait, 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 wait. This is not core, is it? No, no, no. It's probably <laughs> no, a, it's probably a no. Lashrak safe lane. It could be a Lashrak safe lane. It's, it's a boom ID. Lashrak safe lane. It's actually a thing. Like some teams, because they want the early flash in mid game, right? Visage is not the hero Dire which brings you back. through the late game. Drow so Ranger. it's all in on that. And like Ooh, I said, Drow, the drow, drow will come out. We called it. Mm. All right. There, so there is still a slot on boom ID's draft to get someone that can intercept a drow. So far, on Boom ID is so unconventional. All the heroes, kind of fresh, actually. Is this our first Dark Willow pick Radiant of the regionals? I don't think any team has picked Dark Willow yet, right? Um, at least for the stream, we haven't seen Dark Willow yet. I don't know about the other matches for Stream A, so it's hard to say. It's good to see this back, but no, this is you see <coughs> like the same exact reason which you guys just pointed out, and that is it's fresh. It's very unconventional draft. Like trying to research as a team against the Boom ID, it was a complete nightmare. Ten because when I was remaining. looking at the page and Dota buff, I was like, these guys play everything. What do we ban? And I'm like <laughs> looking like, holy cow. Like in Radiant one month, they could pick. play over like more than half the hero pool in Dota. And pick. you're just like, Lena. shit. Wow, yeah. look at all of that range on the side of TNC Tigers. In your dream, Lena, Lena <laughs> Drow, Morana. Silence are all stacking ranged damage. The only one that's not going to be a benefit from this at all is Clock, but Clock, all he has to do is hook, hook shot, shot in, yeah. Cogs, just catch someone. But do you have an off lane range here? 10 Marana. seconds remaining. Marana. So Clock goes around, you see he Cogs the creep wave, helps Marana Five out a bit, and maybe remaining. tries to push the supports out. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's an off, is it? Do you think it's off lane Clock Templar or off lane Marana? Now I, select I, select four four clock, right? I would say, yeah, it's a four clock. Yeah, it's Zephyr. Zephyr's okay. playing it. I was going to say, it would be a bit weird if they put the clock mm -hmm. off. So it's actually going to be a safe lane Visage and mid Lashrak. Q, oh, oh, sorry, what? mid Templar, what am I saying? Um, off lane Lashrak. Yeah. Does Boom ID rotate lanes? Because we could maybe see a lane rotation between these teams. Mm. I don't think they have to do that at the moment. But you see, that's why I point, remember how I pointed out earlier on that we haven't seen, like, Lashrak sanking was an actual thing. So, like, Lashrak and Naga, like what Baby Oling just pointed out, that's a very strong kill potential lane. And Naga is tank naturally tanky as well. So, Go, that's Ten one way they can actually remaining. contest the draw lane. You get the slow, bang, they did. So five seconds remaining. I'm still sticking. I'm still sticking in my prediction. Who oh. am I? D? You're still, <laughs> even though they have a crazy lineup. Yeah, they they have the potential to just run in. Like even if you don't go for a pipe on, on like the visage, you can always go into like a solo crest. You can go into a crimson's god. That one utility item, a Salkuras. These are items which are great against draw. Like once you once you engage into the draw strat. 
that's the disadvantage of being in the draw strand, and that is you can't run. It's hard to disengage. It's hard to actually fight a man fight. And that's what Boomadi wants, as you will see very soon. Like The support rotations, usually I feel, will be quicker than the pace which TNT Tigers are used to playing. Brian. TNC. TNC has a more stable draw to me. So, so TNC. TNC, yes. I'm gonna go with Boom ID. You're actually changing to Boom ID, why? Mm. Because I feel that, um, considering the drafts, right, um... Prepare for battle. TNC <laughs> is very squishy. <laughs> and if the, if, I don't think that early, early on, uh, they can, uh, Boom can actually take down towers with Considering if it's a core visage, oh, you have hot. the second skill for the last trap. Mm. Diabolic Edict is... Mm. It's, it's annoying to play yeah, into, I can it see is. that. Alright, thanks guys. We're gonna take over for here. It's TNC Tigers versus Boom ID. It's first game of Boom ID on this stream, and they're up against a very formidable team. We'll see if they can prove their invite to the Southeast Asian main qualifiers. Thank you so much, Oling. Thank you so much. Isaka, we'll see you guys after this game. You know, one thing we didn't actually talk about was the global silence. Imagine if you pop the global silence, the last track is gone. Kind of has no spells at all, the battle. song won't be available as well. And mm -hmm. if TNC can actually capitalize on all that, I, 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 can't, I just can't see um, how can Boom ID actually react to it. Who used to say Boom ID? Because this is a support Naga Siren. What if the support Naga Siren builds up Guardian Greaves? Global Silence, you Guardian Greaves, you can Song of the Siren, you waste the duration of the silence. What interests me the most is the more towards the Dark Realistic, but back to your point about the Naga thing. It's hard for her to build it up if the Draw Strat, because Draw Strat's a switch of pace. There's the possibility that if TNC wins the lanes, that the Naga won't be even get, getting close to from her mech. You know, that's how fast. It, it just, it's all by taking the quick towers. Yeah, the towers are just gonna go down. Like, about 15 minutes, you see all the tier 1 just down. Mm -hmm. And I think earlier on we saw a 16 minute um, tier 2 already being being killed off. I believe it was CNC as well, right? Was it? No, it was Fnatic. Like they Fnatic. had, they had like what? Five. They had the Jakiro, they had the Lycan. Yeah, five towers and 17 yeah. minutes. Yeah. I believe this is this is what TNC is looking for, Bobby. <laughs> we'll see in just a moment. TA versus Lina. Now this could be a bit of a finicky mashup. Lina has a very easy time at getting rid of refraction charges because she has an absurd <laughs> range to her attacks. So. TA going to be a little bit careful in that lane. Leshrac going up against this Drow Silencer. It's not a fun lane. Not a fun lane at all. That Pop. is ours. Now this could be an interesting matchup here because both of these duos can kill each other. I mean, one more thing we haven't considered also is that, you know, 1437, we talk about him as a captain, but having Zephyr's input uh -huh, on uh -huh. how to play against Boomidi is also very valuable going into this game. Because Zephyr, uh, he played for RRQ here. Catching, Catching out the Look at that. Just gonna be able to walk away with the Miranda though, taking a lot of damage. The breakdown to less than half HP. Oh, and, and I just remembered. ID. Brambles was buffed in the most recent patch as well, right? The damage was increased. Mm. And I thought we saw the end of all those buffs. Apparently not. No more. I mean, I have a friend who spams Dark Below. He's he was laughing away so hard when he saw those buffs, cooldowns. We're waiting all that. for more Phoenix buffs. I Why love my big flaming KFC. They did buff it. Like they buffed the egg stun duration. You think that's a buff? That's like a that's buff. The, that's a buff. I feel like that's not a buff enough. What? Uh, yeah, you're greedy. I don't know. The PME is just gone. Like for me, Monkey King players, we hate playing against that Phoenix that's so strong. Oh, the stun! We have the net. No, it's still level 1, so there's no net to fall down just yet. Could they? Yeah, they could. They oh, have, they but the right clicks very fire. fire. One more, one more. Oh, they, they can't get the salve out. Oh, but the stun on the 1437 this time, though. I'm gonna say, this Lesh right doing a lot of right click damage. The Drow trying to get some of those right clicks in again, but they're very they're dropping so low. I mean, trading between Lesh right and Naga. They're both really tanky. The Naga's insanely tanky, but Leshrac has absurd damage output. This is not an easy lane. But this is one of their ways of being able to deal with the Drow. It's, which is why I said it's like something which was, which could come back, and they actually end up dead, not coming back. So right now, they need to pressure the Visage lane as hard as they can. Lina is actually not winning the matchup as hard as I would have expected. 
but in your dream against FBZ, man. This grudge match right here. Who can hit that power spike first between these two? I think it depends on the support rotations, though. Who gets the first kill onto the other? Get that little bit of a... Not what you expected? Oh, easy cogs gold because cute. Yeah. And, uh, I guess that was a jungle arrow. Yeah, you can't really pull as well because if you try going for the double pull in these kind of dual in situations, Mirana just takes care of the hard creep and your creep wave is just messed up. So usually yeah. you have to be able to play these kind of lanes without pulling at all. It's quite, it's quite hard. So this way uh, as a support, the Dark Willow is not going to get any farm. Maybe EXP, but that's about it. Looks like TA's managed to take a nice little lead over the Lina. TA was under her just now, but looks like it has turned. She's got a Z double damage. Oh yeah, it's not, that's a clarity. Can't see from here. I need a LASIK eye surgery, just like everyone else. Have you noticed? Everyone's been getting LASIK. Yep. <sighs> we'll check on mid a little bit later. This bottom lane, though, I have to say, Drow is still getting that farm. But Leshrac is getting just as much farm. And this is not what you want in an offlane situation. Yeah, your Drow is farming, but this Leshrac is going to hit a peak much sooner than your Drow. Probably not the result they were hoping for. They probably would have liked to crush this lane a bit more. Because the thing is, as long as Drow gets levels, it doesn't really matter if 458 gets farm. As long as you're getting levels, this way you're buffing the other two lanes. And that's all that matters. Because the real carries in this game are your Lina and your K uh, Mirana you know, by KYXY. Good news is that Mirana is doing very well in this top lane. Unfortunately for the Visage, he is sitting at 5, five CS. Said yep. it. So he's been, I want to say, sacked in his lane so mm -hmm. far. He doesn't really have support anymore. It looks like the Dark Willow has left. Where is Dark Willow? Bottom lane? Jet loaded to the gills! Yeah, it looks like Mareska has yeah. shifted over to the bottom lane. But that's what they need, because this way it will force the support away from the top. Visage actually does okay against Mirana in a 1v1 situation, and this is... But this is also what I said, right? This is what they like to do with their supports. They'll leave Dream or Cell alone. Because they know they can't afford to. No. Can you afford oh, to leave this arrow. alone though? Oh, nice juke. Yeah, this is like a nice shot. But the star fall, they might actually have Second to kill in first blood there. First blood. The KYX like it's ours, ours on and on. Gravekeeper's cloak, just not enough for yeah. him to block. And that was, that was without the arrow hitting Sanaba. it. Alright, so one and on TNT Tigers doing okay for now. So I've got a quick replay of that kill. Uh -huh. Dyer's okay. top tower it's is like under attack. The arrow there, not hitting. The Starfall level 2 was just, just both Starfalls hitting. Yeah. Yeah, the battery is out as well. What? This top lane oh. is just being ravaged. Oh, I actually like this itemization as well. It's what, like, Godot used to do, and that is getting built into the Helm of Dominator build. It's v it scales extremely well mid-game. It's also a good item for jungling as well. The extra aura helps your team and makes him... It helps him sustain in the lane a bit better. So, yeah, at this point, I think Boom ID has accepted that... Okay, fine, Juma Cell is just going to get sacked. That's the point. So the more... They're just wasting time here. Here we go, he's gonna try and run with a movement speed. Mirana's gonna start chasing. There is an arrow available. Leap support, yes. arrow who does connect. TP support is only going to be... Is that going to be oh enough no. for it? They lost the Naga Siren as well. That is not what you want when you're trying to save someone. You want to save them. You don't yeah. give them another one. And that's the epitome of what Hades said just now. And buy one free one. <laughs> well, I do know Indonesia is one of the best countries to go shopping in. Yes. So. <laughs> Apparently in Dota too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Brian! Brian. I, I wow. was just riding. I was just riding on what you said. That was right? the wrong wave. Get off that wave. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Radiant's bottom tower. Oh, is under we're hitting that drow range. A very, very yeah, close for lightning range. Almost gonna get him, but now yeah, he's, he's actually gonna, gonna, gonna get around. the kill. Yeah, he solved up, so he can actually just tank up a little bit more. Gust. On the side nice it. stun from that gust. Down he goes. Purge the elements now. Nice, nice save from Zephyr. <laughs> They almost died between the two of them, though. I mean, if it was that hard for them to juggle the left rack, imagine there was support there as well. Missed opportunity. Gotta say, though, TNC Tigers, they're leading with four kills, looking pretty good so far. 1k gold lead, and their lanes looking okay. Not the best. TA is leading with 46 CS, followed by the Lena at 40. 
Flash Rack sitting at 40 CS compared to 32 on the drought. So CS is not too bad on the side of Boom IG. Even though they are behind by kills, if they maintain their farm, they're not that far behind. Yeah, and they have like a triple stack here. Triple engine stack, so... At the very least, a TA will get her farm. Opting to go for the treads this game into a Deso before getting that blink. Yes. FPZ will have to be the one to help dictate the pace of the game with the Lushrak. I think Game of Cell, he's not going to be farming too well this game at all. It's 19 yeah, at this stage, you can't really steamroll. Oh, uh, you can't really snowball in terms of farm as well, right? When is Dyer's Dream of Cell supposed to come back in terms attack. of farm, though? I mean, Visage. I think not really one fight. of those heroes that just farms back. Yeah, well, okay, that's why he goes for the Hollow Dawn build, because at least he can stick with the team, he can provide assistance with whatever neutral creep he goes for. He can be helpful in other ways. Nice sentry block as well, blocking the ancient camp there mm -hmm. for Boom ID. So no more camps for TA. They're going to spot this out as well, I believe. I like the TNC wards. They have vision on both the ancients. We're well, playing up against the TA, though. Mm -hmm. But we haven't seen that. Which other game was it? Was it Fnatic? The one... Yeah, Abed was on the on the tier, right? That was the same game with the Jakiro, and they just realized, okay, there's no point committing the resources to blocking the wards. Let's just block somewhere else, win the other we lanes. But that no didn't work out, obviously, so... Scanning. Oh, well. Now Boomani needs to do damage control. Like, this Dark Willow and Naga has not been the most successful so far. Not effective Dyer's with their middle time. tower is under attack. They could try and go for a pick onto the clockwork here if they really wanted to. This is birds are up, and here we go. They get this clockwork though. He's hiding behind this cog. They will manage to get the cursed crown off, and that should be the end of him. But it looks attack. like the visage is taken down as well. And one bird I think, also live. got taken down. Mm -hmm. So only one bird remaining. It felt way too long to take down that clock though. I mean, he was just hiding between the tree lines and like, come get me. I'm gonna buy my team just a little bit more time. Dire no, structures are yeah. fortified. Tier one. Radiant's bottom tower Ooh. is under attack. Yes. This vision coming out, man. Those deep wards from TNC. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Spot out the TA. Just going to go for Curse and Silence. Send him back. Steal some of his creeps as well. Just feel like it's mine now. My jungle. Boom ID not looking too strong, but they are still farming on that TA. That is still a silver lining on their cloud. But Shadow. if Take that us. silver lining disappears, that's not going to be good news. Lina Lines. getting a kill on two. Oh boy, that was Ooh. loud. Oh. Still chasing. Oh, oh nice oh, block. They got the oh, nice block. Can they get him out of there though? He gets pushed out. Dragon Slave to finish him off. And in your <laughs> dreams, gets a double kill. <laughs> Good, good kill there. So what? 11 minutes into the game, seven kills ready for TNT Tigers. Dyer's say, top really top for is if under I was attack. in your dreams, I'd be the one laughing right now. Not Boom ID. You would. They're having a Radiant really good start. 7 to 1. It's like, what, 2,000? 7,000 kills? I can't see. Uh, uh, Dyer's 2K. bottom 2K? tower yeah. is under attack. Wait, I thought it'd be a much further ahead because uh, they're, they're no. getting some really big kills. Yeah, but the thing is, you have the TA farming up as well. So I think that sort of balances mm. it out. So let's have a look at the net worth. Like, I want to see what the net worth looks like, at least mm. right now. Dyer's structures are yeah. fortified. TA is going for a blink dagger first Dyer's item. Middle is this the way to attack. go, or would you expect the Desso first? I think he needs the blink dagger. He needs Dyer's to jump to the back lines. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Yeah, there's just no way to initiate the fights right now. They're just playing way too passive. So I guess he is the only way they can actually start fights. They're very close to that blink, so this could be a really good timing for the team. They're no, gonna try the blink. and use an opening. Radiant's bottom tower is under Oh, they found attack. the Naga, sorry. TA's got the blink dagger, so this could be an opportunity to get some kills. And there we go, the clockwork, sees the TA. Trying to see to new oh. for this Naga, sorry, can't quite get it. Dyer's it's gonna be punished here. Is under attack. Yeah, he didn't have the mana for the cogs, else that would be Radiant's a dead Naga, sorry. Bottom tower I'm assuming fallen. after dying to the TA, though, he would have seen that blink dagger, so it's no longer mm -hmm. going to be a surprise. He's gonna be showing the lane as well, so, all right, all is good. But can he create enough space? Because the, all three calls on the side of TNT Tigers are doing super well in your dream. Your Scepter almost complete as well. What about Murana? Is Murana getting any items attack. up soon, like maybe drops or something? Murana. Yeah, the drums really complete. Manta style on the way. Radiant are scanning. Nice item of choice. Not very tanky though. If the Murana's not careful, she could be very easy pickings for a TA. 
die, Mongo. She's got to be very wary when she's going to engage into these team fights. This Dark Willow is poor. Level four, one K net worth. Yeah, and I think that Brown was in the current one. Life of a support. Yep. But I mean, I, I did mention this early on from the laning phase. She's going to be super poor based on the nature of the way the heroes are playing in the lanes. So it's also pretty rare to see Saint Dream, do, like Saint Dream Lucas, on these kind of heroes because usually he plays more initiative heroes, like you know the kind who get one blink dagger. You go around creating all the space. It looks like there is a smoke this time from TNC. Lena's very, very close to getting a Yule Scepter as well. So oh, this did they get the kill on 58? We'll see. This is a TA. Naga Siren is here. Naga Siren has <laughs> Song available as well. But we'll silence. No Song for you, they say. But it looks like they're going to be OK. He's actually TA blinked out. gets yeah. the blink off. He had the refraction on. So oh, it was the counter smoke. Dyer's top they could top possibly. Let's attack. see. Brambles gets thrown gets down. Lena, Lena gets caught. The team is still behind her. The Drow is there, I believe. Has a Gust available. Gust gets thrown down. Lands onto two. Got Moresca sitting in the front lines. Trying to go in there with Jex. Not doing enough damage to do it, but they catch her in the Roche pit. That's a big loss Dyer's there. What's TNC Tigers now? Leshrac going forward. Wants to go onto Drow Ranger, but has he made a mistake? He ends up dying. It was pinned between the Drow and the Silent up at the Naga song. What are they going to do here? They want the Clockwork Naga trying to go for a runaway instead. Should be okay. There's no way for them to chase her down. And at the end of the day, it's going to be Alina for a Leshrac. Radiant's bottom tower is Pretty under work. attack. This way you actually do mess around of Inner Dreams farm. But I'm not sure what SDL was doing when he goes like in like that. Unfortunate that the Roshan had actually I think about two bashes on Boom ID's cores. And I'm like, what? Why are they not pursuing? I'm like, look back. Oh, wait, stun. Okay. Dyer are scanning. But this puts the game back into a very even chokehold right now between the two teams, as you can see. Like, Boom ID, it's hard, but they're still able to fight. That's the most important part, that they still have the way to contest TNT Tigers for objectives. The fact that they were able to waste the Global Incoming. Silence earlier helped mm -hmm. so much, though. No Global Silence disengage. Nice re-engage for a Boom ID. Really turned the fight around. You went for the cast range this game. Oh, looks like Clockwork gonna run right into TA and Dark Willow. But it looks like everyone's just gonna bail. The ward party in the jungle as well. You can see everything. And immediately you can see KOXY trying to put pressure up onto the top lane. Is the tier 2 up top gone? I think it is, right? Yeah, tier 2's down. Yeah. He's gonna have a Manta. His Yasha's on the way as well. The tower situation on the side of TNC is really good though. They're only missing that one tier one in the bottom lane. Boom ID hasn't been that great at locking down towers yet. Oh! oh shot does not connect, so. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> City pops up the drum and I'm getting out of here. Nine. Are they going for Rush? Can they Rush? TNC Tigers at his current. They could. Uh, they could. Radiant's they bottom tower is actually, under but attack. That's not a kill which is happening anytime soon. And TNC Tigers with this draw strat, they're hitting their timings. They need to get the Roshan before they can even Radiant's toy with the idea of attack. going high ground. But I feel like after Roshi, you just go straight for the bottom tier one instead. You don't have to take any unnecessary risks. Take out the gold, take out the map control. Why not? Take your time. They are using a lot of their time very wisely. Just locking down the whole jungle, making Boom ID not feel safe in their own side of the map. Confining them to a very small portion of the map. Oh, no, like sir. oh wow. Long long time. It's a trap. Yes, it was a trap. He actually didn't complete the Helm of Dominator this game. He's actually going for an Atos next. Oh, that's going to help a lot with the Drow because Drow has been kiting them around. Atos helps in a bit of effective HP. Oh, and but the sh is that a Shadow Bane or is it an Invis rune? Oh man, I thought it was a Shadow Bane. Yeah, not yet. She's building the Shadow Bane. I think they saw, right? There's a Sentry there, yeah, so they yeah. know. They saw the Lina with the Invis rune. And they're pinging it out as well. Okay, Dark Willow is going to sit behind the left track. So are they trying to bait with this? this mm -hmm. is a no, Boom ID has to be really careful here. There is oh. still the Global Silence. Global. Oh, it's an Why? That's, yeah. that's just careless play right there. He that, already knew. That sounds like they thought Boom ID was going to come out and defend the left track. That may have been the case. 
Well, if they get Roshan, Radiant's well, bottom tower right? is under attack. And like KD says, just take the tier one tower down bottom. Who might even know about this though? They're all coming in, gonna go right on top of that silencer. Down to half HP. They gotta finish up that Roshan ASAP if they're gonna do it. Deso also completed Laguna Blade onto the Roshan. Oh, did it get taken? It got taken. Okay, let's see what they're gonna do with this. They're popping dust as well. They have the vision. Nagasar are gonna go in there. Like, Red is just throw out the fear. Nagasar gonna drop a first silence. They're gonna go down. And everyone hiding on their side of the map. Dark Willow gonna phase out of this planet. Doesn't want to do anything with this. I got this. Oh, looks like they managed to catch her out though. Oh no, Leshra gets caught out way too far forward. And that's gonna be another kill going in the way of TNC Tigers. Boom ID getting a bit too ahead of themselves. Yeah, they just respawn. This is gonna hurt his net with so much. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It's unfortunate. They thought it was the right place to go into the Roche pit. They realized it was too Dyer's late, but they decided to go in rather than back up. So a lapse in decision. What they thought was right, but get punished for Dyer's it. middle tower has fallen. They're gonna be able to get out though. Now the siren is here. Nice silence. TA coming in from the side. Oh, he has a DD rune. He has a DD rune, but he can still possibly die if he's not careful. We're gonna go straight onto that drow. This drow is gonna be a very sad hero. That's gonna be an unstoppable streak going in the ways of this TA. And when he gets a BKB, that's gonna be a different situation. What happens next? But I'm not sure if he can like, withstand the overwhelming amount of physical damage from TNT. Yeah, it cost them that silence of buyback early on, but it definitely was worth the investment as a support. Not to mention you have such short death respawn enemies. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. They caught through. Can they finish them off though? Looks like Black Willow is going to manage to hold her own. Looks like the clockwork might go down instead. Zephyr? LSA misses. Is this a mistake for the TNT Tigers? They lose the clockwork. The idea was there, the initiation was there, but there was just not enough follow up. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. I think I believe the Lina would just held back by the or something like that, and then he, he wasn't able to fall with the LSA, and just not enough damage, like you mentioned. Didn't have quite the range for it. The prize is mine. Farm is leading with that TA. It's, it's very to top burn. heavy in the t in terms of net worth. So Boom ID, they're putting everything into TA. Everyone else in their lineup, they're just saying TA, take everything, everything that we own. Well, you are our only hope. And that's a very dangerous play to make because if the TA dies, it's game over. They've got no one else to fill in their shoes. Hurricane Pike. This is a good item against Clockwork. So that when you, you hook him, you can just force staff his way out. And not to mention Hurricane Pike has like, I think one second cooldown shorter than force staff. Oh, oh. nice oh, man. Nice uh, that's going to be the ATOS debut, which did not shine, unfortunately, for Boom ID. And now the TNT Tigers are where? How are they going to deal with this? Because I don't think they have any solution for KYX. Right? At the moment, he's just so big. He's getting all of these items up, top of the net worth, or almost top of the net worth. He's the richest core on the TNT Tigers. BKB is completed on the Drow Ranger, so suddenly Spell's not going to be too much of a problem. I'm just a little bit worried here that he might be forced to use it defensively for his first 10 second charges. Did he go for like a hurricane fight on the Drow? What does the Drow have? Radiant's top BKB. tower is under attack. Yeah, BKB. see, this is where I see is an issue because you have Naga, you have TA. If Your they song and he BKBs, he is done for. Yeah, and he's not your biggest concern and like, you know, it's not about the stun from the Lashrak. It's definitely the TA jumping you with the blink and the, the Naga net, so questionable, but we'll see if it actually does pay on the end for 4-5 bait. It means it's also pretty like decent, effective HP. They could run right mm. into this as well if they're not careful. This could be a pretty good fight if they can find the picks. Oh, but they global. have birds. Oh, they have birds. And I think they spotted them with a the TA trap as well. Straight away, Mirana Shadow. Teammates are coming in as well. They're coming in from the south. Are they baiting this though? They're showing that the Moonlight Shadow has been deployed. Lena coming in from the west side. Everyone else coming in from the eastern side. They're trying to see if they can lock someone down over there, but everyone's pins it in towards the north. So currently, if you have what, 4k net would leave from TNT Tigers. Um, surprisingly, they don't really have that more of a lead though. 
game is very close. And at least the Visage has finally um, caught up in terms of net worth as well. Not, not quite Dyer's caught up, but I mean, it means he's doing much better than we thought he would. Top tower yeah. is under attack. I mean, earlier he was like 5 and Dyer's 1. Structure and now he has an 8k like net worth onto bed. Oh, there we go. Hookshot. They tried to go into the Dark Willow, but... He really? just expired. Do you I want it to go into the Dark Willow, Drow? That's not Drow, sorry. That's Clockwork. Sitting that's in the front line. His whole team has abandoned him. And your spark. It was just bad timing when the Aegis, like Hades ex uh, exclaimed earlier, or just had to expire at that point in time. And you could see the moment you heard the Aegis expire, they it just sound, backed off. Yeah, they, they were like backing off, and Boom and you were like, time to go, boys! And yeah, so now you wait for the next item. I still feel like he should complete the Hurricane Pike because he needs to be able to disengage from like all these spells which catch him. You know, now that you have an Atos, I guess Manta Style is also okay so that you don't have to rely on the BKB for that. Whoa. Lina. Oh, Lina. Oh, this is a big kill. They can kill. Oh, they can kill. Oh, yep, okay. they will. Oh, no. She has buyback. Yeah, but just like that, Boom ID, they actually have an opening to make something out of it. And, I mean, so far this game, you can see the constant back and forth. Like, these two teams, they've been reading each other's movement very well. But who can be two steps ahead? That's going to be the, the biggest deciding factor for both of them right now. The disadvantage here though is that the Leshrac has no mana to speak of. I think he's slowly regening it now, but I, I, I actually feel if they had mana, they would have pushed the middle lane a little bit harder, just applied some pressure to that T2 tower, Radiant's do some damage and then back is off, under attack. needed to regen that mana. Rana doing what she can, also building Dyer's up a BKB, getting very close to finishing attack. it as well. So BKB, the war here for TNC Tigers, but can the BKBs turn the game Dyer's around? Bottom tower can actually keep pushing here, so everyone on the side of who might is in the top lane. Radiant's top tower has fallen. And you're gonna have a BKB coming up. Oh, both found someone. Oh, missing that one. Duster's there. And everyone gonna be on the retreat for Boom ID. I think what's surprising for me at the moment is that despite having taken all the tier 2 towers from Boom ID, TNT Tigers have struggled to deal with map control. Oh, that was oh. a nice gust, catching out mostly onto the Visage. He's uh, going to the be birds? very careful. Might have to drop, going to drop them one by one. Did they try and engage with this though? He's waiting. There's a vision on the high ground, they see this. Yeah. And he wants to save those birds because he used to summon a the resummons early on in the bottom lane. So that's uh, that's a very long cooldown, it's like two minutes and a half, two minutes I think. So that's why he has to keep them alive. But he does have them back up again. So but you, st you still don't want to give that gold away. So right. a drow at that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Rock it on! So he's still holding quite nicely here. The TA is slowly starting to out farm TNC Tigers. He is creeping forward. 14k compared to the 13k on the Marana, 11k on the Drow, and 10k on the Lina. So this Drow is farming out of his mind. And I have to say, Leshrac and Visage are slowly catching up to Lina's net worth. Before they were a lot further behind, but it seems to me though that Boom ID, they're slowly starting to get the farm that they need to equalize this game. They don't have room for mistakes right now, especially since now that they're out of other towers, the next time they, if they lose any team fight now, they can easily lead to Roshan, it can easily lead to high ground for TNC Tigers. And Rosh should be up pretty soon. Like you can see, that, look at the way they're just hugging each other, like the way they're protecting each other. It's, this is what the biggest difference is, at least right now, between these tier 1, tier 2 teams. I mean, whether Boom ID can prove themselves as a tier 1 team, I mean, we'll, only time will tell. But okay, now they go for smoke movement. If they catch the drought, this is pretty big, but they have to deal with the global silence, which is still, which, you know, it's, it's been up for a while. Oh, this smoke. There we go. Oh, forces the BKB. That's a 10 second BKB, right? Yeah, yeah. It's yep. off. First Fresh time I've one. seen him use it, too. Much but that's going to be a long cooldown for the BKB. Energy wants to go in. Do they have protection? Do they just go now that the BKB is down? I think they can consider it. The rest of them are still smoked up. They have no idea oh, where they I are. Oh, I see Lina now. Who oh, are they going to go for? Okay. Oh, this TA is proving to be 
very, very, uh, I want to say a very scary opponent so far. Now Roche going to be attempted by Boom ID. Now TNC Tigers, how is their response? So they try and engage into this because if they engage into this TA, she is going to hit incredibly hard. Possibly three shot this plot work. Oh, the arrow lands landing, the TA. Hook shot, not going to land under the TA. Going under the sidelines instead. Lina coming in from the side with the Miranda. They've lost two already. They've lost the Dark Willow as well as the Naga. The Leshwek is down. The TA is now on the run with the BKB. Vistage is also on the run towards the north. No one is chasing him. They're all after this TA. And instead, they're going to take the Roche for themselves. TA can now, be, uh, can now TP out if he wants to, but here comes the Silencer. Roshan has forcing that TP. KYX with that arrow angle. How did he even find the angle for that arrow? That was that was very tight. It was a very good arrow. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it just, it just slipped past Roshan. Oh. Yep. They came in from the side and they pincered the supports between Roshan and the Dire Base. It was fantastic positioning from TNC Tigers. KYXY yeah. single-handedly just won them that Roshan fight. Just look at that again. Uh, we will see it in a second, yeah. I hope. Yeah, the moment where the, where the stun ended, the Global Silence they just followed up, just turned everyone, you know, to a mush. Well, we are seeing the power of a draft strat. You know, everyone has that bonus damage. They're all hitting naturally hard. Even though you have a silencer that has support, you know, he's hitting as if he's got one to two items. So everyone is contributing to the cause. And Lena, of all heroes, loves bonus damage because she naturally hits hard. I feel bad for the Lashrak now because he's going to have minimal impact. Oh, like, as, it, as it hasn't been like he's been falling off, now with the BKB up on the Lina, this is a completely different scenario. TNC Tigers, they have this game almost in their hands right now. Yeah, you know it's pretty bad when the last guy tries to go for more defensive items. He's going to go for the Aeon this, try to keep himself alive. It's just been brought down way too quickly. I mean, Lagu Laguna Bay into the face, a couple of right clicks, and he's just down for the count. Invisibility. Hurricane right, Pike completed now onto the TA, so it's going to be helping him when it comes to escaping, hurricaning people. What have you really want to do with the Hurricane Pack, I suppose? The smoke rotation could spot out the TA's positioning, though. It is night time, so vision Allies. is short. Oh, there we go. In the vest from the Marana. Everyone's very hesitant. Global silence is there, but beat. Trying to kill the TA them all. has already blinked forward. It doesn't matter. TA's passing all of her spells, and now everyone's on the run. The Brambles forcing out the BKBs, the Gust as well. This TA yeah. is still chasing. Is They're still under the cover of Shadow, and it seems that this is going to be the end. Luckily for TNC Tigers, that Moonlight Shadow saved their lives. That could have been so much worse, but. TA with a bit more, if she had a crit or something, she could have actually destroyed both the supports right there. That was so scary. But, okay. They buy, them, they buy themselves a bit of time from that tiny skirmish. But TNT Tigers, they still haven't lost any of the cores. But it's forcing their BKB timers down though. That is the that one is concern I'm getting with them. Well, at least they see if they Aegis, they see if they beat their cheese. Oh, this was the team fight out. from before. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful flank coming up from KYXY and in your dream. You take care of the two heroes, the Lashrak and the Dark Willow. There's very little control after that, and that's where they can just run all over. And I think that's then that's go probably going to be their next game plan as well for any skirmish coming up next. And it's up! There's some quiet farming time for both squads. I'd actually like to see some of the item progressions coming out from both of these teams. What are we looking at so far? I've got a Shiva's Guard freshly picked up on this Visage. So we have Cheese, Shadowblade, BKB, Yules on this Lina. We have the Aegis. Still no Hurricane Pike on the Drow. Still sitting on the Dragonlance. Radiance top yeah. tower. I think it's not queuing up the Manta. In your dream, they can kill him. Are they going to do anything about it though? Oh, almost That's getting bad. the fear. Oh, got to say, with no no gem on the side of Boom ID, I feel like they could have caught the Lina out a couple of times. Radiance she just top runs tower around is under, under the cover of the Shadow Blade and May the she just doesn't bat an eye safe. at anything. Butterfly picked up on our Marana, so Marana's going to start hitting harder. Has the Butterfly movement speed to work with now if she needs to run, reposition. Evasion as well. Yeah, I believe KYXY has not died a single time this game. Right now. Oh, the Gust landing onto two. That was perfect range from the Drow. Everyone's just trying to clear these creep waves now. 
One of the annoying things as well is that TA can actually cut the creep wave <coughs> with the traps. So as you can see, like TNT Tiger's tiny data, and they're trying to separate the wave so they only two of the creep, like maybe a few of the creep But they're gonna take this tier three for okay. basically nothing. Forcing Amanda style out of the Mirana. The traps slowly oh, to get oh, to play. Oh, oh wow! Wow. Shivas, they're they're going forward. Are they are they sure they want to do this? Marana is down to almost half He still has the BKB at the ready. Drought standing right next to her. They're trying to bait into this, but Mid who Tower might be? They're not having any attack. of it. They know this is happening. And Crimson Guard coming up onto the clockwork. That's that's gonna be even better because they are lacking physical damage on the side of Boom ID. You know, Visage isn't at that super scary level yet. TA doesn't have any crit items. Like, that's all you have. You need the MKB to deal with the Solar Crest as well. So we'll have to see if only you know if they can get those items up. But they will try for that smoke. Five man smoke. They need to catch heroes. They need to catch the flank. Fresh Aeon disc as well on the Lesh Rack. So he's going to have that couple of seconds to, to reposition himself and get that free purge off it straight away. Oh, oh they went on the hero. illusion! They went on the illusion! TA is trying to go into the Drow Ranger to the left hand side of the clockwork, trying to keep everyone in place because the TA is by herself. The Lena coming in from the bottom, going straight away for the message. He's gonna go down. Not the siren, no chance. Aeon just saving the Lesh Rack's life. Forces out a buyback from the uh, from the Naga Siren. Yeah, do you guys do you guys notice that KYX actually gave uh, the clockwork his cheese? Please, he oh. Yeah. oh wow! He's back to full health now. We're okay, almost full. Great play. Visage is down, but now it's gonna have to be that slow and steady play. With no cheese, no ages, so it's probably not feeling too confident going up high ground here. Just send up illusions if possible. Get one or two hits off. Still cannot afford to get caught out. Not sure what that was all about. I mean, the smoke didn't exactly pop when they saw that Mirana illusion, but I think they got confused because there was the silencer right behind, right? Like, or was it the clockwork? They saw one of those heroes. One of those heroes, the support heroes, broke the smoke. So they thought, oh, they immediately that's the Mirana. So that's why they jumped the illusion. Yeah. Most unfortunate, but very good timing. And that's going to cost them quite a bit. You know, the Naga buyback. And it's off! Well, it looks like TNT Tigers, they're gonna try and make a play. Another smoke, who are they gonna possibly catch out here? All they're gonna see is a illusion, but we all know that pros don't hit illusions on purpose unless mm -hmm. their smoke breaks. Oh, this is the real- Oh, oh that, that blink! blink. Oh. Probably lost oh, a couple yeah. of lives there. I just don't yeah, all, he, all, all he needs is that Yules, man. If you can get the mine. Yules, it will make it so much easier for him this game. Yeah, you can get the Curse Crown, Yules up, and you can get three stuns to come up from there. Game's getting very tense though. Just one mistake. Oh Pick no! The game. Not again! Oh, they don't have a hook shot, so they're still missing Not again! Yeah. LSA, this is yeah. too tanky, but. Oh, oh the song! The oh, song came out no. just way <laughs> too late! <laughs> oh no! I don't Sorry, even have that. Down. Visage is down. Oh dear. Does he have buyback? No, he does not. No. Full minute without buyback. This is this has to be Rax. Uh, nice TA. The TA just has to try and defend this as best as he can. He's the only hope here. Yeah. It's all about using the trap to cut the creep wave right now. That's all he can do. TNT Tigers are just there buying time for this next rush. They want this next Aegis cheese. And this is the third rush, right? So it's also going to be the refresher shot. Double Google silence. Would you want it for double global silence? What, are you going to save with a double Laguna again? I don't see why not. You can just insta give the, the Naga Siren before she even songs. I mean, if you Illusion. if you were to pop with the global silence the first time, and if anyone aside of Boom ID were popping at the BKB, just give it another one. And then your TA can't just melt strike, can't use refraction. Not to mention it bypasses BKB as well, right? Boom, yep. there it goes. So, woohoo. All right. And I think they have a gem on the clock. Is it? Yeah, there's a gem. So, goodbye vision. Boom ID will be forced to play this very passive gaming. Patience is key. Oh, at least the Visage is back up. And I care why XYZ escape is just going ham. He hasn't died yet, right? He doesn't need to. <laughs> I mean, if you don't need to die, he's seven and zero. 
Oh. It's 7 and 0, 37 minutes into the game. I don't know why. I, I almost read that as 4 0 4. 4 0 4. Hero not found. Under attack. Arrow 4 0 4. KYX are not found. Oh, but this is Roche. And Boom ID, they cannot give this. They have to contest. But they do have the fear coming out from the Dark They're Willow. going. Did they? They used oh. the silence. They used the Dark Willow silence. They thought they were inside oh, the pit. Hookshot is shot. there. And on the message, Lina's going for it. LSA will shot. not let Boom ID, though. They get the kill on the silencer. So TA manages to shred one. Lina, in the meantime, going to be killing off that Dark Willow. They're still fighting here. Arrow not going to land onto anybody. They're still chasing with this Moran and Clockwork, but they will leave that alone. But where's the TA? In your dreams, kills off Leshra. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Do they still want to fight? That's Four the question. I think they want. I think they're, they're playing with the idea. If they can kill they KYXY. Oh, one to dodge. There's no mana left oh, here. There's no mana left on that TA. They need to run. The Visage is trying to run with the stolen movement speed as well. It looks like he's going to be able to get out safely. Oh, the Shiva's connecting onto that Lina. I think they can. I think he can. He can use the eels. Is oh, okay, no. Oh, no. It doesn't quite have the range. Dyer are scanning. So I think it's Roche, right? Dyer's to top yeah, tower to is under but attack. Dark Willow's up in five, and uh, they're still terrorized, right? They know. No, they used terrorize. Oh, used it. Okay. They used it just before the fight. No one was even in the pit. Ten seconds, though. That's a real Ten short seconds. time. They could. They could. They could try and zone them oh, out with brambles. Dyer's yeah, middle tower is under attack. Roshan is still very healthy, so there is still an opening for them to defend. The Naga Siren's position. It's just like, I'm just going to wait here and song. <laughs> but without the Clockwork Hook I don't think they actually want to contest this. They just don't wait for them to start the fight. Is it Global down? Is it? Oh, okay. Global is available at least. Mm -hmm. So now both teams, they, ha they, they will be positioning themselves exactly around that Roshan pit. They have to. They, they have no choice because right now this Roshan will decide who goes high ground or not. I mean, okay, it decides whether TNC goes high ground, but it decides whether Boom ID have any more like time left in this game. So T picks up a butterfly. What's next? I mean, Daedalus? Blaton. Blaton. Blaton's pretty good. Nullifier as well, so you can deal with the BKBs. I like Nullifier. It's a expensive item, but it's usually worth it. Yeah, especially when everyone on the side of TNC Tigers are so dependent on their BKBs. Get Roshan and to see a double global silence. Boom! There it goes! It's very hard to see that. Oh, just a lot of 20. He got the familiar movement speed. Die. It's annoying against the support. You lay the solo crash, you just chase. Alright, he's going for the air games. I'm not sure if you, you, you know, if he gets the time to farm it up. There's an Invisrune in the river that someone could pick up right now if they wanted to. Illusion! Unless the Naga denies it, but. Or not. Blessings. Money to burn. Okay. Squeezing out every cent they can Crimson right now. Guard. Can we see the buyback status for these squads? I want to see who has buyback. Oh, oh, the oh. They managed to find... Oh, that oh, no, the is gun, the Willow. The gun <laughs> actually pushed the Willow out. Oh, that's unfortunate. So we only have no buyback on the Naga, the Marana, and the Clockwork. So two heroes with no possible buybacks on TNZ Tigers. Be so careful here. So 4,500 gold in the TA. Bottom lane is being shoved in as well by the Lina. Now you can tell, like, this is what they both teams are trying to do. They're trying to play the creep lane with the lanes, the creep waves, so that they can at least make it Please slightly here. easier to play around that Roche pit. Yeah. MKB picked up on the Drow. All right. Silver's Edge picked up as well. Mm. That's useful against Great Keeper's Cloak. It's good for the damage reduction on the TA. Uh, I feel bad for this little track. I've said it before, but I don't see any impact from him. It feels that he needs to shift over to a utility based role now. Yeah. Pick up Scythe of Vices, four star for Dyer's the team. top shrine is under attack. I think he has the four star, right? Null I would love to see him pick up the nullifier for the team. Oh, if we think about cheapest items right now, I wouldn't even say no if he picks up something like a pipe, even a crimson guard. Oh, like, a shot. Like, wow. oh, who's that? To the creeps. Okay. Oh, the they found there. the Dark Willow, they got the vision, oh, Dark Willow. Look at Willow. the damage. Song. Who did what it did catch? Do Three. Where's the follow-up? Are they doing anything at all? 
No. No, Naga Siren, if she's not careful, going to be able to blink down onto the low ground. They managed to get the curse ground. Is that onto Mirana, though? She has done for a really long time. The fear, they're trying to lock her down, make her not use that BKB, but the team is being forced back. The TA almost dying. He's still trying to run away. Managing to just get away. Almost the losing got. their powerhouse. TNT oh, Tigers, thanks. if the Clockwork did not come in time to use the Crimson Guard, I would say that KYX probably would have died there. Now's the time. Roshan, open, they're taking it so quickly oh. as well. No oh, shot that, that means we on KYX, why? Oh, the refresher shot on the... Oh, it looks like you... you oh, yeah. they killed the silencer. My blades and my yeah. mind are as it doesn't well. matter, the Aegis is more important. Like, he comes up in 45 seconds, they just go straight for high ground and bottom lane, perhaps. You know what, Danny? You might actually see a double Laguna V. Oh wait! Oh, can they catch? Ooh, oh, this is really big if they can. They got the, they got the drought coming in. The they need to get as many kills as they can they right now. They got the down as well. They're gonna lose the Naga side and the oh, Naga is down. But they're also gonna lose them. Oh my goodness! This one is Five back. Oh, oh, down. No. One more Laguna. They don't even need it. TA is down. <laughs> They've lost three. They're still trying to get away with the rest of their heroes. They're oh, let's see what they're right trying to get ourselves into. Oh, that was scary. Man, so Walked that's why uh, they're also tanky. I saw Kuras, you got Crimson God. Holy cow. Radiance bottom okay, tower is God. under oh, attack. Oh, for our observer. My this pet, will force out buybacks. Yep. Dyer's yeah, he usually buys back there with two buybacks. Do we have song? Dyer's structures no are soft yet. Nope, they used it earlier on. Oh, Dyer's middle tower has fallen. What's happening? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. That's Manta Dodge and KYXY. Oh, they're saying, Radiant's guys, we got this, we gotta go. Attack. They've got Aegis, they've got Cheese. They haven't even used their Aegis. Mm -hmm. Do they still have Cheese? Or have they eaten that yet? No, they still they have still it. They still have it. They still have the Refresher Shard as well. Dyer's oh. top tower yeah. is under attack. Yeah, they do. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Could be too late of rank. 15 seconds on the clock here from the side. Oh, the TA getting locked down by this clockwork, leaping forward from the Rana. They're not going to be able to kill him yet, though. His team's still there, but they've lost their seconds at Arax. His Moonlight Shadow has popped his ass. They want to kill this Marana. They're going to try and go for the Cursed Crown. It will land, and he gets half the leap off. They're going to continue chasing. They get her down as well. The Drow sitting in the back. The Fear will not land onto the team. They have sat further back for this. But everyone on Boom ID, they are not crossing that line. They are not getting greedy. And it just seems almost so impossible to kill KYXY. He has the assault, he has the butterfly, Aegis as well. Has fallen. I believe the Global Silas was not used as well, was it? Uh, it was used. It, would help, it was the reason why they couldn't commit <laughs> onto catching the, the Marana, I believe. But look at that, man. Look at that. How tanky was it? You had a visage, everything, the Naga from the Riptide, the negative I'll armor, and that. that wasn't even enough to kill the Clockwork. But okay, yeah, they did it at the very tip. That's because, you know, TA blinked already to the back, but that's just overcommitting right there. And yeah, TNC Tigers right now, you know, I believe early on we, we said that their draft is very squishy, but having the Clockwork and with the Mirana's atomizations completely solves that issue. Look at how much armor they have. The TA can't kill anyone. Even the uh, maybe the silencer, but you're killing the pause five. That's not the biggest gain at all. That's the items. only that's the only benefit you can get right now for pickups. Last minute items being picked up by both teams. We got a four staff on the Lena. I believe it was an ag picked up on the clockwork and a blade mail on the left right. This is basically <laughs> their do or die. Yeah. Do or die. There's so much damage output. That's the only item he can actually go for. Like he has to play that role. And against Mega Creeps right now? It's Megas, right? No, 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 Trying to isolate heroes. Straight away onto that silencer. That's going to be Global Silence down. One down so far. Who are they looking for now? They're going to go forward. They managed to kill off that Dark Pillow. The Lash Rack goes down instantly. My god, KYXY. Trying to go into that anything. And all the Guna to the face as well. TA remaining with the Dark Pillow and. Oh, I think this might just be it for Boom ID. Visage gonna go down, TA hiding under cover 
GG, this is game, this is game. Yeah, yeah GG ball. Nice. But this was this was a really good series. Like you can see, you can see it, like between two teams, both very strong. Our best indo on TNT Tigers. Man, yeah. <laughs> what a game, what a game. I would say that was a pretty strong hold from them though. I mean, they put all of their faith into TA to try and hold that down, but just, mm -hmm. it wasn't, it wasn't enough. Their whole team became redundant. Mm. Yeah, the last was just really like lasted. I mean, they didn't get the proper items up, was forced to go for a more defensive item. I think he got a A on this, he got a four star for himself as well. Didn't have much mana he to spam so up. Blade mail yeah. his last item as well. That's right. It was just the, I don't know what to buy, game is hard, let's try this. Blade mail, blade mail always works, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to wish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at right. that point I was like, yeah, with this much damage output, you know, Leshrac isn't doing anything like Blade Mail. I was like, there's no way and he actually bought it. So, mm. uh, I mean, there were there were several things that this game could have they could have done to do better, which was mm. probably try to swap around the lane so that the Visage gets a better start. Visage does okay against the Drow, like better compared to being sacked in the top lane. And perhaps with this support duo, something which is easy to execute would have helped out, mm -hmm. but. I don't know, it's, I'm still not convinced of the Dark Willow pick, which is probably why you don't see many teams playing it. What do you think, Arisaka? Mm, I think Dark Willow is very good, uh, considering that you can disengage very easily uh, with the with the ultimate and also... Um, Keep going. <laughs> I don't really like it picked as a support because this, it's very wasted. Considering you can dish out quite a, quite an insane amount of damage, mm, but the game, yeah. Just now I heard um, Brian and uh, Hades mention that the I mentioned that the lineup was very squishy, but they completely solved the problem with their itemization. Then it's just downhill from there. Yeah, the crimson and solar crash, right? <laughs> Do you see how many times like TA is like trying to finish off the clock? It's like, why is he not dying? Why is he <laughs> not dying? And Should, realize, shouldn't we be saying that about the Marana? How many times mm. has the Marana been saved and hasn't died? Mm. I mean, he I had think so he much. He saved himself the whole time, right? He had a ton of farm. Like he had, he, as they were fighting the whole bottom in the mid lane, he just had the entire top lane to himself. Took two towers, free farm. So it's good to know that that investment in him. That's why I said. You know, from the from the beginning, Marana's the real carry. It's okay if the Drow mm. dies. It's fine. That's the game plan all along. Four five eight knows that, and I think it was really good as well. Like you could tell back then, even though the fights were so split up, this is the advantage of having two captains who know how to shot call in these team fights. You know, team comms is everything. Mm. You look at that. Zephyr is like, okay, I can still go. I can still go. One four three seven is like, let me die. Let me die. You can see there's good synergy there for TNT Tigers. Boom ID. It's more like I feel like this was more of an issue where they weren't able to execute their draft accordingly to how they wanted it to be. Otherwise, this would have been a slightly different game, but nonetheless, it's still a very intense game. Mm -hmm. Anything else to say, folks? Mm, nothing much, except that TNC Tiger really dominated that game and showed that they are a better team through team fights and also their ability to cover for each other in team fights and, and positioning, everything. Isaka, anything else to say? Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Well, people that are tuning in we actually have one more boom id game left for today before we're going to be moving into another one but before we talk about that game i'm just going to remind all of you guys right now that there is going to be a giveaway on tamago later today we are giving we're going to give away the akana during the last game of the day which is supposed to be uh TN tnc tigers versus entity the last game of the day do we know so which akana it is i don't know do we know what akana it is do we the latest one or the patch akana can I get an Akarna as well? Yeah, me too, please. I want one too. <laughs> I like the Techies Akarna. They get to pick the Akarna. They get to pick the Akarna? They get to pick no the Akarna. No way, nice. that's yeah. so cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Terribly, so, guys. So, terribly. if you guys want a chance at winning this Akarna, all you need to do is download the Tamago app on your phone. And during, I think it was before, uh, I think it's after the last game, we're going to be giving you guys a question. We already, we actually already revealed what the question was. I'm going to tell you guys right now. Don't answer yet, okay? You don't answer yet. You answer at the end of the last game. I'll let you know when you can answer. The question is, how much attack speed does Roshan gain per level? This was a question from ADTR. I didn't even know the answer to this question. <laughs> oh, so oh, it's no longer the number of trees in Dota. Sorry? It's no longer the number of trees in Dota. 
like you know, I, I was counting halfway, and then you just told me that. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> So guys, don't forget, if you want to join, all you need to do is download the Tamago app on your phone, sign in and answer at the end of the day. We'll let you know when you guys are ready to answer. But first, just, just get your answers. Just don't tell anyone yet, okay? Don't tell anyone you have a high chance of winning. Promise. <laughs> all right, so we're going to have a quick commercial break. And once we're back, we're going to go into our next game, which is Broom ID versus TNC Predators. We'll see you soon.